Taoiseach, uh, for years now, um, at the request of uh, film crew in the Irish film industry, I've been raising the systematic abuse of fixed-term contracts by film production companies in receipt of public money, uh, which leave workers in practice uh, wide open to blacklisting uh, if they don't toe the line. And uh, I've also uh, been putting forward the uh, campaign of equity of the performers, the, crea uh, the, the, the writers, the, uh, the directors and so on, who um, are campaigning against the use of buyout contracts where they have to sign away their rights to future royalties for their uh, work. Now, my committee, the Budget Scrutiny Committee, undertook an investigation of some of these issues. Uh, at my request, they issued a report essentially vindicating the concerns of uh, actors and performers and writers saying these addressed need to be these issues need to be addressed and uh, the question of the abuse of fixed term contracts uh, by film production companies uh, and indeed there's quite a substantial campaign going on by equity around the issue of the buyout contracts at the moment so what I want to know is is the government going to do anything about this about the recommendations around these issues in the report uh, and whether we're going to treat the film crew, the writers, the actors, uh, the directors and so on, with the people who actually make the films happen, treat them with respect so that they get proper quality employment, proper remuneration for the work they do to enhancing all of our culture uh, and the film industry in this country and stop the really, I, what I think is outrageous behaviour by film producers who are getting large amounts of public money but treating uh, both film crew uh, and performers and creative workers in such an unacceptable way. To, um, to uh, uh, thank the deputies for uh, for their questions. Um, as I think deputies will know, in relation to employees in general, we have a set of minimum terms and conditions that apply to all employees, and they've been improved uh, in recent years. The move to the living wage, for example, uh, more employment regulation orders, particularly in the private sector, uh, sick pay, um, the introduction of which I was... Uh, pleased to be uh, very involved in uh, as Minister for Enterprise, Trade and Employment and also the expansion of things like parental leave. Um, there is uh, an issue around bogus self-employment. It's difficult to know how common uh, bogus self-employment is. It certainly exists. Um, uh, and we do have a scope section, obviously, in the Department of Social Protection that has a role to play in that, uh, as do the Revenue Commissioners too. Um, in relation to fixed-term contracts in the audiovisual sector, I don't know enough about that to... I give the deputy a proper response, but I, I, I'll, I'll ask that my officials respond, or, or, or I'll certainly prepare a response um, uh, that's a bit more detailed for, for the deputy. Um, uh, one thing I do agree with them on is that the film and video sector does get a lot of support, uh, sometimes direct grants from government, from Screen Ireland, from the Arts Council, a lot through various different tax incentives as well. And it is important that they treat their staff uh, and treat their contractors decently, uh, in my view. Um, I know there are allegations of, of blackballing. Um, I'm sure it does happen. Uh, I imagine something that's very hard to prove, and I'm not sure um, what suggestions have come from the report. I, I haven't had a chance to read it uh, with regard to that. Um, but I know Mr. Martin will take an interest in it, and I'll certainly let her know that it was raised here. Um, in relation to the reform of the TV licence, I just want to clarify that while um, anyone's entitled to have their opinions on this, including government ministers, uh, there has been no decision made on this by government. Uh, I think we need to grasp the um, uh, issue of uh, funding uh, RT and public service broadcasting and media more generally. Um, decisions on that have been deferred down the years for lots of different reasons, uh, good and bad. Um, but I do want us to agree on a new system within the next few months, legislate for it in 2024, and ideally have it up and running in 2025. And, uh, and I've said that before. Um, there are different options. One is exchequer funding uh, coming from central taxation. Um, that has its advantages. Um, uh, I know a lot of people would welcome not having to pay the TV license every year, um, but ultimately somebody has to pay. And if it comes out of exchequer funds, it's still the taxpayer that's paying. Uh, and I think there would be concerns about uh, the power the executive would then have uh, in terms of cutting funding and so on. Uh, I know people suggest that an independent commission would decide how much 
uh, should be provided every year. I, I just don't think, think that would work. Inevitably, independent commissions or independent bodies that recommend a certain amount of government funding do so in isolation. Uh, they don't have to make the trade-offs uh, and the kind of decisions that we have to make as politicians um, when the amount recommended by every group or expert simply doesn't add up uh, to the amount that's available. Um, the other option, which has been discussed, is a household charge. That would be device independent. I think that would be fraught with difficulty. Uh, as somebody who's been involved in uh, introducing new taxes, it's never an easy thing to do. Uh, sometimes you're successful, sometimes you're not. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of taxes or new taxes for that matter. Um, so I think that would be a, a difficult one to go for. Uh, but I'm absolutely certain if that, if that option were chosen, we'd have to continue to exempt a very large number of households, um, as is the case now, uh, particularly pensioners and people on social welfare, for example. Um, Deputy Murphy asked about um, the, the budget, and I appreciate uh, the right of deputies to, to, to ask me about what's going to be in the budget. Um, I can't answer because I don't know yet, because it's not agreed. Uh, it's still under negotiation uh, between ministers and hasn't been presented to government as yet. Uh, so um, whether it's child benefit or whether it's child care fees, uh, any announcement on that will be made uh, in the budget on, on budget day by uh, Ministers McGrath and Ministers Donoghue. Uh, what I can say is that uh, child poverty and well-being uh, will be a theme in the budget, uh, and I've made that commitment to Taoiseach, uh, and we'll be looking at a number of different measures uh, that we can introduce that will reduce child poverty and improve child well-being, and they can be across different areas, um, education, um, social protection, uh, etc., and we're working on that package at the moment.